Today I'm standing in front of uh, an iconic landmark in South Bethlehem. Over my left shoulder is the well-known Flatiron Building. It's right at the intersection, the busy intersection of West 4th Street and Broadway in Bethlehem. When this building was constructed more than 100 years ago, it was the tallest in Bethlehem. But you know, like a lot of things here in town, when you start to dig down to learn a little bit about the building, you find that there are other stories that intersect with the building. And today we'll learn a little bit about some of the people associated with the building. The Flatiron Building is the history of South Bethlehem. A survivor of the borough's illustrious immigrant and industrial past. Construction of South Bethlehem's E. P. Wilbur Trust Company began in 1910. It opened in 1911, four years before the borough's 1915 semi-centennial celebration. Three years later in 1918, the borough was consolidated to include all of the Bethlehems. You cannot tell the story of the magnificent E.P. Wilbur Trust building in Bethlehem without talking about several men whose careers intersected during the late 18th to early 20th centuries. Asa Packer was an American businessman who pioneered railroad construction, was active in Pennsylvania politics, and founded Lehigh University. He was a conservative and religious man who reflected the image of the typical Connecticut Yankee, which is where he was born. He served two terms in the United States House of Representatives, 1853 to 1857. His nephew was Elisha Wilbur. Wilbur, a trusted associate of his uncle, served the university as treasurer or trustee from its opening until his death. After finishing school, Wilbur worked in one of Packer's stores, and was on the Lehigh Valley Railroad survey crew. In 1856, Wilbur became his uncle's private secretary and was in charge of the finances of Packer's enterprises. Moving to South Bethlehem, Wilbur became involved in business and civic affairs, organizing the banking house of E.P. Wilbur and Company in 1870, which was charted as the E.P. Wilbur Trust Company in 1887. After Packer's death, he served as president of the Lehigh Valley Railroad until it was sold in 1893. He also was involved in the management of the Bethlehem Iron Company. He was a large factor in everything that entered into the making of the history of the Bethlehem during the past 50 years, the Bethlehem Globe noted in his 1910 obituary. Albert Wolfring Lay, later known to citizens of the Bethlehems and beyond as A.W. Lay, or Captain Lay, in deference to his Civil War service, was born September 17, 1848 on his father's Williams Township farm, near Easton. A few of Lay's architectural designs include Moravian College and Theological Seminary, Rural Middle School, First Reformed Church, E.P. Wilbur Trust Company, Municipal Market, and Lips and Sutton Silk Mill. <laughs>